Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video I will be showing you how to recover any deleted photos, videos or audio files using a program called Stellar Phoenix Photo Recovery. We will be taking a little look around this program as well to see if it really is worth buying the program. All you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to press on free download. The free trial will allow you to scan any of your hard drives or portable devices and preview them. But if you want to recover any of the files, you will have to purchase the full product. You can now go ahead and press save file. And we can run the setup file. You now need to press run and you will end up with a screen that looks like this. You now need to press next. I accept next, next next and we're going to create a desktop shortcut and we're going to go install. Once it's finished installing we can now launch the photo recovery and this is what you will end up with. As you can see I have three options we have recover photo audio and video, create image or resume recovery. I'm going to go and show you the create image option which basically creates a image of your hard drive. I'm going to select my drive one which is my USB stick and go continue and I'm going to save the .image file onto my desktop. Once it has successfully created the image that now means we have a backup of our hard drive or USB stick depending on what you selected. If I now press OK and go back I can now go on to resume recovery and select my .image file if it's not showing you can press add files and locate your dot image file. I'm now going to press scan and straight away as you can see it has got the files on my USB stick in this dot IMG file and yes that is correct that is a really old photo of myself. But as you can see it's got all my photos in here and it has the dot PNG file. If we now go back we can test out just how good the recovery process is on this program. I'm going to open up my USB stick and I'm going to permanently delete these files by holding down shift and delete and press yes. As you can see they're not on my USB stick anymore. If we go back to the program and press recovery we can now press scan. Here's a list of all your hard drives and portable devices but where I do have a USB stick in it automatically pops up with a window which is a pretty cool feature it means that it's detected my USB stick absolutely fine and it's saying do you want to scan now if not I can view my drive list instead. I'm actually going to go ahead and view the drive list because there are a few options we can do here. For example if I select my USB stick which is at the top I can now go to advanced settings. In advanced settings I can actually choose which file formats I would like to scan on my USB stick. For example here is a list of all the photo file formats and then below we have the audio file formats and the video file formats. If you can't find the file format you want to use you can add a file type. Next we have the region. You can select whereabouts on your hard drive or USB stick you would like the scan to start and finish. Unfortunately photo recovery don't offer the option to select a certain folder to scan which I am a bit disappointed in to be honest because it is nice selecting a certain folder where the files have been deleted out of and you just want to scan that area rather than having to wait ages to scan the entire hard drive. Once you have finished going through your settings you can now press scan now and straight away as you can see it's found the five files. If I now press cancel and go yes we can now preview all the files it has found below here and you can also change the view in the top right hand corner if you want. I'm now going to go back again. And we're going to go back to our USB stick and I'm actually going to format my USB stick just to prove to you how powerful this program actually is. Now I have formatted my USB stick I'm going to go back onto the recover photo and audio files and go scan now. 
and straight away as you can see it has found all five files again successfully which means if you accidentally format your USB stick and you've not written over the USB stick it will find the file straight away but obviously as you start adding more data to your USB stick for example if I put a load of new files like photos onto that USB stick it would struggle a lot more to find the old photos anyway that is the end of this video overall I do recommend you give Stellar Phoenix photo recovery a try definitely give the free version a try and if it has managed to find your photos then why not purchase the program it really is worth having a photo recovery program on your machine because you never know when you will need to recover your photos. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.